Yo, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to be breaking down how I made this album cover art concept. And uh, yeah, let's just get into it. Okay guys, so the first thing I did was I just made the background completely black. This is pretty much irrelevant because we're just going to cover it up anyways. Next thing we did, we added some stars right here. We just found, uh, you can see, we just found stars, uh, PNG basically. It's just a picture of space. And we just lowered our opacity, you can see. Next, we just found a picture of some clouds right here. Just went on Google, found a picture of some clouds. And we uh, we just put it to an area where we like it. Next, we're going to actually make that darker. You can see we just put on minus 0.95. Next, we add some color balance to sort of make those blues more cyan. And uh, mess with those shadows as well. Up here, we added uh, another cloud right here. <coughs> and we, you can see after this. So we just sort of erased around the outsides here. And it also, we can also erase right here. But yeah, we just erased, touched it up just like this around all the outsides. And um, we had a hue and saturation. We completely desaturated the clouds. And next thing we did was actually added our color balance just to try to blend it in with the sky and these clouds back here. Next we added some levels and just sort of painted in some highlights. You can see our uh, levels we did here. And what we did was click on this part of the mask, go to our white brush, go to our flow, and turn that down. And what you can do now is just, you can just paint on some shadows. You can see that working right there. So yeah, we just paint on shadows just like that. Then we added in some doves right here. We just looked up dove PNG on Google, and we just pasted them just how they were right here. And we added some exposure on the other side because the light is coming from this direction. And then we color balanced it to just blend it in with our foreground. So you can see just some blues and cyans there. Next, we're going to add in our um, Tyler, the creator. And uh, you can see how you erase the bottom of him just so he bl blends out a little bit more. But uh, this is not his actual arm. So basically, I took his other arm and put a new one in. And um, you can just, basically you just cut out the arm and you just set it in here. You lower the opacity of the arm so you can see through and erase the parts you won't be needing. Basically, just make sure the arm looks like it can match up well. Next thing I did was I added this gradient map right here. You can see, this is how you make a gradient map. Right click on the circle, gradient map right there. What I like to do to sort of blend my subjects in is I will take, I usually keep it on black, then the next color right here, I'll just find the next darkest point. So say like right here, I would take something from like right here, or right here. Our medium point, we're going to take a medium blue, maybe something like right here. This lightest blue, we would take something like this right here or something like this up here. And then we're just going to put white. And then we lower that opacity to 23, so you can see the effect that sort of has right there. Next, with our levels, you can see our uh, settings right here. They, they always vary, you know, you just want to mess with them. <coughs> what we did was we sort of uh, just, we just made the insides of him darker and this side of his face, because I want the light to look like it's coming from this direction, because he's gonna have a globe in his hand right here that's where the light source is gonna come from then you can see I didn't put shadows right here that's because there is actually a cloud right there I'm not to that yet but yeah that's why but we added some shadows right here just like that just the same method as before with our white brush low flow next we just make them darker sort of on the very edges we make them a lot more intense right next we add one more levels one more shadow uh, this one's actually highlights you can see what we did for our highlights and right here our light source is gonna be right here let's go ahead and see if we can't put that in so we can get a good visual there okay so there's our light source right there so you can see where these highlights are coming from now so we have that on as our highlights next we found this picture of these clouds we just cut off the top so it looks like he sort of we can start adding some depth here layering some clouds on top so it really blends him into that 
atmosphere. Next with our hue and saturation, we completely desaturated these clouds down here. And then we added our same color balance as before. Just made them very blue, very uh, vibrant. Now we found this next cloud picture right here. And we added some motion blur to sort of get the effect that they're moving. <coughs> and we wanted part of it to cover our Tyler the Creator here. So that's what we did. We had this part just cover him. And then we desaturated once again color balance once again just like that next we just have these little clouds here and there just sort of adding a little bit more detail and desaturate color balance again let's see oh next thing we're gonna do is for our planet so let me see so for our planet we have our planet here then behind it we just paint it on with white and put it on linear dodge add just underneath you can see <coughs> next thing we do is we add an exposure just at the top because we want the light source to really be at the bottom here then we added some color balance onto the top where we added the shadow next what we did was we actually took a white solid color right here click solid color and then you make it white and you put it on overlay and you can take your brush your white brush and you can paint around the outsides just like this just paint around the outsides and it'll give it that glowy effect and then we did the same thing the white and then the overlay <coughs> and we just made it bigger just made that glow pop just like this just painting on next what we did is we got a PNG of a cloud it's a PNG, I don't like cutting things out, you know, just make it easy. Grab a PNG of a cloud and we added some motion blur to it once again. And then we're going to desaturate that cloud, color balance the cloud. This time we actually want to add some highlights since it's really close to this light source. So that's what we did. We added some exposure on the inside and then some highlights on the outside. Just by increasing our lightness of our hue and saturation like that, just painting very softly and then using an exposure for the shadows okay let's look at this so next thing we did was we added a color balance to the entire uh, image you can see we didn't do too much we just adjusted just the slightest bit you can barely even tell next we added sort of a vignette around the outside so just a black color fill and we just painted the edges just like this just to give it a little bit more depth and this is after the camera raw, obviously humongous difference so I will actually take you out into this camera raw because this can really camera raw filter really makes or breaks your images and if you learn how to use it it can really step up your uh, designs so let's go in here and I'll show y'all so on the basic I open the exposure to 0.35 contrast to 0.16 Highlights plus 6, shadows plus 7, whites plus 16, blacks minus 21, texture 31, clarity 22, dehaze minus 7. You can see this is what it looks like with no basic. As you see this tab right here called basic. So a very big difference. I think basic is one of the most important tabs. The curve, I usually just like to bring down the uh, highlights and bring up the shadows. Just make a little bit more contrast. You can barely even tell. But there is just a little bit there next <coughs> we added 109 sharpening 24 noise 30 color noise reduction and this also doesn't make the huge difference but small things is what really makes your picture so next we go into this color mixer and we can change the hue of our blues you can see we can make it green purple whatever we want but we left it at minus 20 just at this color right here slight change but I do like the color better the sort of baby blue color grading this is this in basic is a toss-up for a most important thing in camera raw. so typically I don't like to touch the mid-tones but the shadows and the highlights I do so for the shadows the darkest points on this image are blue and I wanted them to stay blue so I just sort of drag them down to blue to a point where they look good and then the highlights, 
uh, I like the cyans for the highlights so I just drag this circle over right there and I'll give you a before and after that's before and that's after right there so it just adds a lot of uh, atmosphere to your image I think distortion I usually like to play around with distortion just because it kind of gives it a um, I don't know this just kind of looks a little flat to me and if you just mess around with distortion sometimes it uh, makes it look like it has a cool perspective now with this uh, you know nothing too much just mess with it how you like it on the effects I like to add a little bit of grain I added 33 grain on this one and down here you just mess with these sliders and uh, see what you like so yeah guys uh, this is how I made this graphic right here and let me know if y'all enjoyed this video if it helped y'all any if y'all want to see videos like this in the future and uh, yeah I'll see y'all